Hi everyone. Welcome to the Chemical Engineering Process Design Learning Videos with Aspen Plus Software. This is our 8th video lesson. This video lesson provides you knowledge and skills on the basic heat exchange simulation in Aspen Plus software. This is our example problem. DI water is fed to a chemical process at 35 degrees Celsius at a mass flow rate of 2 kilograms per second. Initially, it is required to preheat the DI water up to 60 degrees Celsius before entering to the chemical process. After undergoing the chemical process, hot DI water at 80 degrees Celsius leaves the system at the same flow rate. This DI water should be cooled down using a counter current shell and tube heat exchanger and recycle the system at 60 degrees Celsius. Cold water at 25 degrees Celsius is used as the cooling media in the heat exchanger at a mass flow rate of 10 kilograms per second. It is a good habit to sketch our process flow sheet before starting the Aspen Plus simulation. So we can sketch first the preheater with a feed of 2 kilograms per second at 35 degrees Celsius and the outlet stream from the preheater is the inlet stream for the chemical process. The temperature of this stream is 60 degrees Celsius at 2 kilograms per second. The process out stream at 80 degrees Celsius at 2 kilograms per second is the inlet hot stream to the heat exchanger. The outlet hot stream from the heat exchanger at 60 degrees Celsius at 2 kilograms per second is the recycle stream back to the chemical process. The cold water inlet stream to the heat exchanger is at 25 degrees Celsius and 10 kilograms per second. So we need to find out overall heat duty of the heat exchanger, LMTD logarithmic mean temperature difference, heat transfer area and overall heat transfer coefficient as well as the cold water outlet temperature from the heat exchanger. We can have these assumptions for this problem to make our calculations easy. Since we do not know any input data about the chemical process, it is not required to include the chemical process in our simulation. Assume the physical properties of DI water and cold water are equal. Steady state conditions and no heat losses are assumed. We can assume that the operating pressure is constant at 1 atm and no phase changes during the heating processes. Before Aspen simulation, we shall have a look at the manual calculation results for this problem. In the manual calculations, first we can see the heat duty for the preheater is nearly 209 kilowatt. And the calculated heat duty for the heat exchanger is nearly 167.2 kilowatt. The cold water outlet temperature from the heat exchanger is nearly 29 degrees Celsius. The logarithmic mean temperature difference of the heat exchanger is almost 42.5. For the calculation of required heat transfer area, we can take the overall heat transfer coefficient as 0.85 kilowatts per square meter per Kelvin. And the calculated total heat transfer area is nearly 4.63 square meter. As we have estimated the required heat transfer area, later we can determine the geometry of shell and tube heat exchanger for the advanced design. Let's open a new blank simulation. Enter the components in our system. 
this time water is the only component in our system. After entering components, click next button. Select the thermodynamic property method as steam TA which is valid for water. Steam TA is for steam table correlations. After that, click next button and run the property analysis. Then go to the simulation environment. Heat exchanger equipment models are available in exchangers tab in the models library. We can observe that heater block can be used to model heaters and heat X block can be used to model heat exchangers. Place a heater block and a heat X block in the main flow sheet. Rename the heater as preheat. and heat exchanger as heat X. First draw the feed stream to the preheater and process in stream as the product for preheater. Then draw the hot inlet stream for the heat exchanger as cross out. And outlet as recycle, which is recycled into the chemical process. Also draw the cold inlet and outlet streams to the heat exchanger. Now we need to mark the intermediate chemical process in the flow sheet. We don't know about the equipment used for this chemical process as well as their operating conditions. However, from the problem statement, we know that the final outcome of this chemical process is increasing the temperature from 60 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius due to generated process heat while the other conditions remain in the same. Therefore, we can mark up this intermediate chemical process using another heater block. So we place another heater block to distinguish easily. We select a tank heater as the chemical process. Now we can connect the pros in and pros out to the chemical process so that our entire system is sketched in our Aspen flow sheet. After the flow sheet is complete, click next. Enter the cold water inlet stream data into the heat exchanger. Temperature as 25 degrees Celsius. Pressure as 1 atm. 
mass flow rate as 10 kilograms per second. Then click next button. Enter the feed stream data to the preheater. Temperature as 35 degrees Celsius. Pressure as 1 atm. Mass flow rate as 2 kilograms per second. Make sure that you mark up the correct units in the input stream data. After that, click next button. Chemical process block setup will be opened. The task of this chemical process can be simplified to increase the temperature up to 80 degrees. So we mark up temperature as 80 degrees. Since other conditions remain same, we can mark the pressure as 1 atm. The valid phases as vapor liquid. Then click next button. Similarly, we can enter the data for the preheater block. Temperature should be increased up to 60 degrees from 35 degrees Celsius. So we mark 60 degrees Celsius as the temperature. And pressure as 1 atm and valid phases as vapor liquid. Then click next and go to the heat exchanger block setup. Since we simulate basic heat exchanger design parameters in this simulation, we mark the calculation method as shortcut. Select the flow direction as counter current and select the calculation type as design because we need to estimate the parameters for heat exchanger design. We need to specify one outlet conditions for the iterations in the simulation. We know that the hot stream outlet temperature of the heat exchanger should be 60 degrees to recycle back to the chemical process. So we select hot stream outlet temperature as 60 degrees Celsius. We can have a look at other tabs in this heat exchanger model. Logarithmic mean temperature difference LMTD calculation Pressure drop marking up and overall heat exchanger coefficient can be selected accordingly. For the moment, we can keep everything as default. Later when we simulate advanced heat exchanger design with detailed design, we are going to use these tabs accordingly. So we have entered all the required data for this simulation. Now we can run the simulation by clicking the next button. We can check the results in each equipment model separately. The heat duty of the preheater is 208.705 kW. This value is very close to the manual calculation results we obtained earlier. Also, we can see the overall heat duty of the chemical process is also equal to 167.321 kW. To check the heat exchanger simulation results, go to thermal results under heat X. We can see that the cold water outlet temperature is almost 29 degrees Celsius. This result is also equal to the manual calculation result we obtained earlier. The total heat duty of heat exchanger is 167.321 kW. Again, it is equal to the manual calculation result. The required heat transfer area is 4.63225 square meters and the overall heat transfer coefficient is 0.85 kW per second per square meter per degree Celsius. Also, logarithmic mean temperature difference is equal to 42.4951 degrees Celsius. So, we can conclude that the Aspen heat exchange simulation results are identical to the manual calculation results. 
To see the temperature profile of the heat exchanger, we can click TQ curves in the home ribbon. And to see the overall stream results, go to the streams tab in the very bottom and see the stream results. The summary of what we learned in this lesson is Aspen Plus software can accurately simulate shell and tube heat exchangers. Aspen heat exchanger rating and design is required for more detailed heat exchanger simulations. Please watch our next video lesson about heat exchanger rating and design using Aspen Plus software. Until we meet with our next lesson, have a nice day and goodbye.